Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you guys a typical Asian meal in our household. Basically what we have here is white rice. Uh, and on the left we have uh, scrambled eggs mixed with tomatoes. And on the right we have um, a form of lettuce. So it's called like, it's Asian lettuce pretty much. And we have it mixed with mushrooms. Now this meal is very cheap to make and ultimately it, it really tastes quite good for how cheap it is and it's kind of like if you can see the colors here it, it, it kind of it's almost like opposite because you have the uh, yellow and red here and the green and brown here so like contrasting colors and to make it even more uh, ironic Typically when I eat this sort of stuff, I only eat the eggs and I only eat the uh, the vegetables on here. I, I don't eat the mushrooms. And the whole idea is that the tomatoes give the, the scrambled eggs a very distinct taste. You can taste how uh, the tomatoes rub off on the eggs. And the same thing with the uh, vegetables here. Uh, you, you get the same sort of mushroom rubbing off effect on here and you sort of wash it all down with white rice. And it's all very interesting because um, uh, this, they're, they're very distinct taste. It's not like just straight up scrambled eggs. And this dish right here is uh, a staple. It's probably something that most people have never tasted in their lives. And when we cook this, we actually add a bit of actual ketchup to it to get that sort of tomato taste. And if you've never had just straight up uh, ketchup and scrambled eggs, you have to try it out. And although it sounds gross, it, all, it ultimately has the most distinct taste you can get. This was something I was grown up eating. And when, you, when I ultimately uh, ate the American standard scrambled eggs with pepper and stuff, it's nothing in comparison. I ultimately eat the scrambled eggs because on my college campus and in American restaurants, they don't have this sort of tomato ketchup uh, scrambled egg mix. And if you were to tell anyone, it'd, it'd sound pretty disgusting, but ultimately it tastes really good. And this, uh, this is just very healthy and uh, you can eat the mushrooms as well. You can eat the tomatoes as well. And it's ultimately a very low cost meal. You've got your protein from the eggs. So you got your meat category without going full meat. Uh, so if, if you're those sort of, sort of semi-vegetarians, I'm not semi-vegetarian by the way, I love my meats. But if you are, uh, you can try out the eggs and then you can try this out. And white rice is something, it's very symbolic because um, people in North Korean, I'm not Korean, but um, people in North Korea, uh, when, you, uh, when you like ask them what, their lifestyle was like after they've escaped North Korea and entered South Korea. They talk about how white rice is such a, a delicacy and uh, even on someone's birthday, you, you'd be lucky to get it. And I believe what they eat is uh, some sort of like uh, brown rice or something else that's cheaper to make there. And it's, it's not like uh, refined like white rice is. And so um, that's one of the first things that they notice out of Korea. Um, and I learned this from a uh, interview with uh, someone who's escaped North Korea. Uh, she had to fake her own death. Her, her family had already faked their own death. And then she ultimately followed years after. Is that um, she was very astonished to find that like uh, white rice was something that even the homeless people ate in South Korea. And it was such a delicacy in North Korea because uh, even during your birthday you didn't get it. And so... Um, it's very symbolic of how uh, you, you take a lot of things for granted and you ultimately uh, forget that everything is relative to everything else. What you find is just standard and commonplace could be someone's treasure. It's, it's literally someone's delicacy and it's some, something as simple as white rice. So um, really just taking those things for granted really can change your whole perspective of things. And ultimately uh, you come to realize like, sure. It's great to keep achieving better and better stuff, but um, a, a distorted mindset in, oh, I, I just got to keep chasing and then nothing will ever be enough. Uh, you, you'll find people eating gourmet foods, five-star restaurant foods, um, 
who are just really unsatisfied with life and unsatisfied with their foods and just will never be happy because it's never enough and it's it's all just relative and ultimately um i mean it's i mean i went on a cruise uh, a year ago and we were eating like uh three f or four f uh, course uh dinners with all this like fancy stuff like uh, uh veal and lamb ch and uh, steak and all this like these extravagant desserts and i posted a few of those in my uh cruise video but ultimately i could definitely uh understand how you can just be dulled by all that stuff and it's it's all very relative everything gets sort of boring over time if you don't appreciate things that's all i really want to say as always like favorite comment and subscribe thanks for watching